It's time to level up your ice mining and the Orca is how you do it. The fit tips and tricks to never get ganked or lose your ship in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and even joyer for the better part of 10 years now. And this is the Orca. Out of all of the ships in New Eden, the Orca is one of the best. It's versatile, the perfect alt character, and it totes a massive cargo space that can even fit some fully fitted ships. <sighs> Let's dive into the pit. The total cost of this fit is going to be 2.4 billion isk. I know it's not an inexpensive ship, but it is worth every penny and you're gonna use it for a long time if you fly it correctly following the tips of this video. Start with the highs, we have two mining foreman bursts. You can use tech ones if you're not skilled up for tech twos. And we are using the charge to speed up your mining speed and increase your mining range. Increasing the yield is self-explanatory. You stay further from the ice nodes to minimize the chance of being ganked. The more space between you and the ganker's warp and point, the better. Next, we have the Industrial Core 2. You can use the Tech 1 version, but the Tech 2 version has a massive amount of upgrades comparatively. This is a siege module. When you activate it, your orca is going to be immobile for the duration of the buff. Balance here is you get massive boost to your drone damage, mining capacity, your form and burst strength, and other bonuses that make it harder to scan you down. Next, we have the ice compressor, and this is the reason that the Orca is your favorite mining alt for ice mining. The compressor enables you to stay on the belts for literal ever. Pop some Netflix, get some anime going, enjoy your favorite content creator's live stream. Next, we have the drone link augmenter. You'll notice we're not running shield boosters on this fit. We're going to have a separate video when I get skilled into those. This character isn't there yet. Those modules take some time. That said, the drone link is to let you use your literal drone army at any distance when you're on the belt. Finally, the cloak is to ensure that when you're waiting out your siege timer at a safe point, you can cloak up and be nice and invisible. Going towards the mids, we have a bunch of active and passive shield tank. Goal here is just to make you as tanky as possible. And an afterburner? I know, I hate slow boating, we've talked about it. You can easily fit a survey scanner if you don't want to go fast like me. The lows are super easy. We have a single reinforced bulkhead. The bulkhead plus our rigs makes the ship's hull extremely difficult to crack. This will give you more time to fight off gankers. The damage control too is a perfect one of for the slot and single-handedly nearly doubles your effective HP from 278,000 to 404,000. The rigs, we are rocking two, count them two, transverse bulkhead twos. Say that five times fast. Size matters, ladies and gentlemen, and this pushes your raw hull HP from around 70k up to 110k. Finally, we have a drone mining augmenter too. You are going to be using some ice mining drones of your own in your orca when you're on the belt. This gets you that ice faster, more consistently, no wasted time here. Speaking of drones, let's talk about what you're going to be bringing along in the literal huge, massive, extremely enormous drone bay that the orca has. Feel free to bring a variety of drones for a variety of situations since you have 200 M3 of cargo space. Here's what I typically bring with me at almost all times. The best ice drone you can fly, the mining drones from when you're out on asteroid belts, some light and medium combat drones to be able to defend yourself from both gankers and rats, a single salvage drone to be able to help clean up wrecks. We're going to talk about that more. And finally, some EC-300 drones for that anti-gank measure. Speaking of cargo, your base cargo hold is huge. A 28k M3 with my current skills. Your ship maintenance bay, which can hold fully fitted ships, has 400,000 M3, though that goes pretty fast. Your fleet hangar holds 40,000. This is the hangar you can use to swap items in between your ships. Your fuel bay is exclusive for the heavy water that you're going to be using to fuel your large industry core. Have no fear here. When you're mining ice, you're going to be able to reprocess that ice into more heavy water. Ice mining feeds itself. And finally, you have a mining hold of 180,000 M3, baby! This plus the compressor means you will literally never have to leave the belt. In your base cargo hold, you're going to hold your extra mining form and burst charges, an MTU, extra fuel as much as you want, and I keep a micro warp drive in there just to swap in between the afterburner and that. You're going to use the MTU combined with a single salvage drone to effectively clean up wrecks in the space. It also gives you some extra loot. You have the cargo holds, might as well use it. Now that we talked about the fit, let's talk about how to find ice in your agency tab. You're going to go to your Neocom and go to Agency. 
resource harvesting, ice belts, within 10 jumps, and find something close to you. I recommend not going into Null Psych with an Orca ever unless you're with a corporation. Now that you know where you're going, let's talk about how to fly the Orca properly and safely. You're not just going to take the Orca straight to the ice belts, you're going to use a travel fitted shift to make a bookmark in the belt so you can warp the Orca to. Orcas are slow, you do not want to get caught with this 40 second align time and a max speed with the afterburner of only 171 ms. Now let's talk about how to multi-box an Orca and what to prioritize. One, you need to keep your Orca aligned to a safe point at all times. This is to ensure that should gankers come on grid, you can time effectively get the hell out of there. Two, you need to keep your mining ships within about 2k range of your Orca. This is so they can activate the fleet hangar the orca has at all times. Three, you can store all compressed ore on the orca itself in the mining hold. You can compress this ore either in the mining ships themselves and then move it to the orca, or move the uncompressed ore to the fleet hangar, compress it on the orca. Whatever's better for your process. Or you're gonna make sure to bring mining drones with you on the orca, squeeze every extra piece of time you can. This is gonna let you squeeze out some extra ice and make sure your time is being used effectively. And before we go any further, you're a decent ways away into a Lorem Earth gaming video. This is the hashtag secret callout. We are an EVE partner and because of that, we get skins to give away to you. With that said, I give you the Asteroscope Syndication skin. I love this one, I have it on my ships myself. We are giving away this skin as well as a couple others to some lucky comments in the comment section here. In order to win, you must be subscribed. Make sure to put your in-game name and type Bling My Ship Loru in the comments. Do those three things and you'll be eligible to win one of the skins. We are also super close to 3,800 subscribes. I really want to thank every single person that's been commenting, sharing our videos, and enjoying. We see new faces in chat every day. We've got live streams coming up. Come down to the Discord. I want to talk to you if you want to be a part of our core community. We'll announce the giveaway winner in a couple days. Thanks again, and let's get back to the video. Now that you're on the belt with all your mining ships and everything's in place, you're aligned to the save point, you could just sit back, relax, and enjoy, right? No, no, no. You are never safe in EVE. Here's how to maximize the chance that you're not going to get ganked. First thing you're going to do is you're going to be checking local like mad, right-clicking people's names, checking security status. Make a note in someone's name if you think they're a little bit spooky. Make sure you check your D-scan for roaming bands of frigates. You need to have a safe point in somewhere in space when you're running an orca. You can make a safe point by while you're warping, press Control b this will open up the bookmark window and then press enter very quick. We've said it before, but make sure you align to a safe point when you're actually on the belt. Seconds matter when someone comes on grid and you need to get the hell out fast. Stay as far away from the asteroids as you can. With my skills and the boost active, we can have our mining ships go about 29k away from the ice asteroids. This gives more distance for the potential gankers to cover. We have a ton of ice mining related videos and the playlist for that's gonna come up in just a moment. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. We want you to come back, so please sub if you're enjoying the content. We have some awesome streams coming up. We're gonna give away even more skins and more in-game items. Make sure you check that out. All of our recent YouTube members, welcome to the Inner Sanctum. Enjoy your perks over in Discord. Thanks again, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.